Hey everybody, Bon and Bao here. I'm so excited to come to Austin and speak to the National Beer Wholesalers Association. For those of you who don't know me, I'll give you a little bit of background. I've been in the food and beverage industry for almost two decades. At one point in time, I ran digital marketing globally for PepsiCo across every brand from Gatorade to Frito to Pepsi to Mountain Dew, you name it. Uh, then I moved over to Mondelez, which used to be part of Kraft Food. My job there was to be chief meat and e-commerce officer. So I ran $3 billion of media investment across the globe, as well is working on our largest brands, from Oreos to Wheat Thins to Cadbury to Triscuit to Stride to Trident, you name it. I also ran our e-commerce business, which I took from 65 to $265 million in the 18 months that I ran it. But my most important job there was really to be chief instigation officer, was really to push our brands to do innovation that would grow their business in ways that we never thought possible. I left there and I ended up joining, by fluke, I met a founder and I ended up joining the largest natural beauty business, which I took from about 220 to about 300 million in the year that I was chief growth officer and we just sold to Unilever for a billion dollars. My specialty is really getting you to think about how can you create strategies that are going to grow your business through innovation. And so what I'm going to talk to you guys about is this idea of hackonomy. How do you create value by breaking things? How do you break your process? How do you break your approach? How do you break your thinking? How do you break your culture so that you can unlock greater value? I'm going to show you case studies of everything from dropping a guy out of the sky with no parachute, no wingsuit, no wingsuit on and him landing on the ground to how I reinvented Oreo that started off with a simple Facebook post and ended with the first time ever, uh, 102 years later in the history of Oreo that we delivered direct to consumer and sold the same pack of Oreo with just a little bit of personalization for five times with the base Oreo cost. And at the end of the day, what I hope you leave with is not just the inspiration, but the roadmap and true examples that I've actually done in life. I walk through real case studies of reinventing the brands that you know and love, and then I'll show you some of the platforms that I think are coming next. So anyway, I I can't wait to find out how you guys are thinking about innovation and to inspire you to maybe think differently or continue on that path. I'll see you guys in Austin. I'm out.